Hello, I'm Rich Gaffney, Director of North American Sales here at Century Equipment Corp. In response to the shift in plant operations from baseload to cycling, Century has developed a product that allows users to automate the sample flow of the sample panels through a simple device using feedback from a non-contact flow meter. The Sentry Auto Varel Flow Controller operates so that the user only needs to adjust the sample flow and the system automatically adjusts to changes in sample pressure. It's simple, cost effective, and improves panel safety. In this video, I'll be showing you an overview of how the flow controller operates in our new product development lab. To begin, the user interface has four push button keys. The standby escape back, the enter, and up and down arrows. The standby escape back key is used to place the unit into standby and back up when in setup mode. The enter key is used to scroll between three operating screens and to enter into different setup screens. The arrows are to adjust flow when operating with the set screen displayed and to step through the menu options when in setup. Before applying power to the Auto Varel for the first time, it is recommended that you isolate the sample stream. Depending on your panel configuration, this could be an isolation valve at the panel or somewhere else in the plant, including all the way back to the sample extraction point. With the sample stream isolated and the application of power, the Auto Varel automatically goes through its startup sequence. Once complete, it will attempt to manage flow to the factory preset of 1000 cc's per minute. If no flow is detected, it will open the Varel searching for flow and then close the Varel to a safe position and wait until flow is detected. The entire process can take up to three minutes to complete. At this point, it is safe to open the isolation valve to begin sample flow. Once the isolation valve is open and returning flow to the sample, the Auto Varel will detect the flow and begin managing to 1000 cc's per minute. The LED to the left of the screen will illuminate once the sample flow is within 50 milliliters tolerance of the flow set point. During load flow transitions, the LED will turn off until flow is once again stabilized to within the tolerance set point. While operating, you can scroll through the operator screens by depressing the enter key. If you want to adjust the flow set point, the set screen must be displayed. Simply use the up and down arrow to adjust flow and the auto varel will save the new value and begin to control to that value. Should you need to place the unit in standby, simply depress the standby escape back key and the auto varel will close to a safe position. While in standby, the Auto Varel is not managing flow and will maintain the Varel to a safe low position to limit flow. Depressing the standby escape back key will put the Auto Varel back into active management mode and will begin controlling flow to the preset value. Once in standby, depress the enter key to get into setup. Once in setup, there are three options Cal Varel which calibrates the Varel with the flow meter, temp units, which changes between Celsius and Fahrenheit, and factory settings, which is available for factory personnel only. Once the appropriate screen is showing, depressing the enter key will enter that setup mode. For Cal Varel, while in standby, use the up-down arrows to scroll through the menu until Cal Varel is displayed. By depressing enter, it will first issue a warning to isolate the panel and prompt you to depress enter. Once you press enter, it will begin the calibration process. From there, you can enter the standby escape back key once to go back to standby 
and twice to go back to normal operation. Changing the temp units. While in standby, use the up-down arrows to scroll through the menu until temp units is displayed. Depress enter and then use the up-down arrows to scroll between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Depressing the standby escape back key once will take you back to the standby mode and again back to normal operation. It should be noted that the lack of the illuminated LED on the front of the panel is local indication only. No DCS alarm will be activated. In addition to the indication alarm, the Auto Varel is also equipped with an alarm output that can be wired to the DCS. However, that alarm will only be activated if operator intervention is required to avoid nuisance trips at the DCS. The three hard failures that will cause the DCS alarm to be activated are 1. Loss of power 2. TSV trip or 3. Lack of Varel control For example, the unit is stuck or plugged. All other alarm conditions are managed locally via the LED on the front panel or with the alarms already in the downstream analyzers. Should you experience a thermal event that triggers the TSV, the Auto Varel will respond by closing the Varel to a safe closed position, activating the DCS alarm, and displaying TSV error. The Auto Varel closes for operator safety, so when the TSV is reset, the operator is not exposed to the sample full pressure, flows, and temperature. Should the Varel become inoperable due to contaminants or plugging, the Varel will once again close to a safe position, activate the DCS alarm, and display Varel error. So in conclusion, just as easy as using your home thermostat, the Auto Varel is simple to operate, installs on new and existing sample panels, improves panel safety, and most of all, saves you time and money. For more information, please visit us at century-equip.com on the link here or in the description below this video. Thank you for watching.